Solar Energy Farm Suitability Analysis and Global Mapper. Using the analysis tools in Global Mapper, areas that meet the basic requirements for a proposed solar energy farm can be identified and extracted to vector features. With the slope shader applied to a terrain model, the raster reclassification tool is used to identify low slope areas. This creates a raster image layer clearly identifying the relatively flat areas of terrain. The same raster reclassification process is completed with the slope direction shader applied to identify areas with a south-facing slope. For a solar farm in the northern hemisphere, a south-facing slope increases sun exposure. The raster calculator with a custom formula is used to combine the reclassified raster layers. The layers are multiplied together to yield a new raster layer, with the value 1 representing areas with both ideal slope and direction. With low slope and south-facing areas identified in the raster layer, the Create Areas from Equal Values tool is used to vectorize the raster represented areas. These polygons are then selected to be smoothed and measured. Taking the Transmission Lines layer, buffer features are created to define a 100 meter area from major power lines. Any proposed solar farm should be within this distance to a power line so the generated energy can be fed to the power grid. The Spatial Operations tool, with the predicate intersect, is used to find polygons outlining the low slope and south facing terrain that come within 100 meters of an existing power line. In the end, the areas that meet the basic requirements for a proposed solar energy farm are contained in a single layer of vector features within a Global Mapper workspace. To learn more about suitability analysis in Global Mapper, read the blog on this topic available at bluemarblegeo.com. If you're considering Global Mapper, download a free trial today!